You stand a 99% chance of killing your daughter if you try to outsmart us. Follow our instructions, and you stand a 100% chance of getting her back. Fucking mathematician over here. <laughs> I know, this guy is a smug piece I've of I've crunched shit. the numbers. <laughs> Why are you such utter morons, and why does BuzzFeed suck so bad? Hey, Jill? To answer the first question, there's a lot of reasons why I'm a moron. Uh, I can't list them all here, we don't have enough time. No. Uh, very thoughtful question, Jill. <laughs> Whoa, here comes that cool hot dog again! <laughs> I was an, a very ugly baby. I imagine your first steps were your head dragging along the floor, like some kind of crab creature. Okay. Well, that is not true. Is that enough head jokes for you? Yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> okay. I bet when you get in a room with him, he commands the, the space. Yeah, no one's like, oh, Chris Walken's here. Everyone's like, you see who just fucking walked in? Chris Walken. What a walk-in. Boys, Boys, the party's here. I brought some cocktail weenies. <laughs> Lewis's past did lead investigators to suspect that he could be the Tylenol killer. He allegedly chased his mother with an ax when he was 19. Not great. <laughs> No, no, off to a no bad good. start. I've never done that. You didn't do that, did you? No, I didn't. What? Is there anything to suggest that I would chase my mom with an ax? Not outright. I feel like if you Not peel the outright. layers back. You think you peel the layers back from this onion, you'll see something you don't want to see? Yeah, I think you wear a mask sometimes. Mm. I think you should keep digging and maybe see what happens. Oh, no, I'm good. I once fell into a pile of bricks when I was a kid. What? And I don't remember much of it after that. What? Yeah, I was climbing because we were playing hide and seek. I was trying to hide and I thought I had the best hiding spot. Turns out I was wrong. The branch broke and I just- This fell. explains a lot. You fell into And after heart. that I could see ghosts. I don't think it gave you the vision. It gave me my eyes. I think it put a hole in your brain. <laughs> Secret servicemen sent in advance to check out the route noted that there were over 20,000 windows overlooking the route. But since they didn't have enough men to station at every window, they opted to inspect none of the windows along the route. <laughs> Not a good alternative. <laughs> you know, there's far too many. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> you know, just call it a day. We'll, uh... We don't have enough guys to look at all these windows. What if we just uh, don't do shit? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, sounds like a good idea. But sir, the president's gonna be coming to town. Eh, he won't care. What are they gonna do? Shoot him? <laughs> yes! Once again, a lot. <laughs> so you do the shout out to yes, Ryan. No, that's gonna 100% be misused. No, Ryan, come on, just really go for it. Ready? Okay, wait, 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 what do we, all right. Yes! I don't think they were, they were probably asleep. They could have, I mean, they could have been in there telling ghosts, you know, how kids do, pillow talk, stuff like that. That's not what pillow talk is, I don't think. That's what it was for me, telling ghost stories. Pillow talk like, could either mean something you do after sex, or it could mean. Yeah, I think that's what It could that mean what's like a sleepover talk. Do you tell talk. ghost stories after sex? <laughs> that's for me and my girlfriend to know. <laughs> Maybe. You just spark up a, a cigarette. Let me tell you about the Keddie Cabin murders. <laughs> for it were better that they never were born than for them to incur the wrath of the Axeman. End quote. It is very Old Testament. It's like most serial killers just like to stroke themselves, and this is just. He was right, maybe he's, he's just, like. Ooh, <laughs> just, let's see. Just, the devil is satanic majesty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That'll get him. This seems cut and dry, but. Oh no? Know, There's more to oh, it? There may be more than meets the eye here. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bristow went even as far as carrying a mask of the boy's face in his briefcase. Okay. <laughs> Let's think about some things here. The he, last two went a little off the edge. Yeah. Especially um, the latter. That doesn't even seem helpful. So would he wear it and go to people and be like, you, you know, do you know me? <laughs> Do you see my little boy face? Does this look familiar to you? Wow. The maid, Mary Soapdick. <laughs> What's her name? Oh God, I know what you're, she's a maid, her name is Soapdick. I'm ha, trying ha, to move back. What a really funny big laugh you got out of that. Look how, yeah, look how happy you are. Oh man, Soap what a dick. gem of comedy we've mined here today. <laughs> this is from Holly Horsley. <sighs> Let's see here. <laughs> is it weird back then that you could just pretend to be someone? You could still do that today. Nah. I bet you I could check into a hotel right now and say my name is uh, uh, Ricky Goldsworth. Where'd you grow up, Ricky Goldsworth? Oh, I grew up down the road. Where? No. What city? What's the fucking holdup? <laughs> I'm trying to check into a room, and you're giving me a goddamn inquisition? Is this how you treat all your customers? All right. Who do you think you are? That's fair. Huh? Okay, and I, and that's I poke fair. him in the chest like this, huh? At this point, huh, I'm buster? giving you a room, all right? <laughs> you did it. You're, you're, you win. <laughs> you win, Ricky. I definitely think this was done by a human. I agree that it was done yeah. by a human. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think so too. Well, well, of course, it was done by a human. What do you think a, a ghost sat down at a typewriter? A ghost can barely lift a tube of toothpaste, as far as we're concerned. And Earhart was said to be five foot seven or five foot eight. That's like a foot taller than you. <sighs> I knew you were gonna say that. I'm five ten, by the way. So, no, there's no quotes there. Well, when you wear your special shoes, yes, no, you're no, 5'10". no, that's from the doctor. Yes, your shoes are from the doctor. No, <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, they I'm are. five foot ten. Damn it. Oh boy, this name is. Lakshmanan, oh my god, how am I gonna pronounce this? Okay. Dr. Lakshmanan Satyavrajiswar, oh my god. Dr. Lakshmanan Satyav, oh my god. Dr. Lakshmanan Satyavrajiswaran. I think that was good. He's still alive! He's, He's still crawling alive. away! Oh my god. Incredible. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens next week. This is. Uh, 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 but for now, the case remains. This is a developing soap opera. Bun solved. Oh my god. <laughs> One of my greatest fears, I think I've said this before, is that someone will trick me into doing heroin. Which is the dumbest fear I've ever heard in my life. It, it would be against admit, my will. How many situations could even put you up to that potential danger? Like, I don't know, all it takes How many parties are you going to with heroin? Involved? None, but uh, It seems like could, a lot. It's not the fear that I'm at a party, it's a fear that someone would come up to me on the street and put heroin in me. And then I'm hooked forever. <laughs> what the fuck? If you ever come across a crime scene, do not touch it. I, I don't <laughs> just don't touch them if they look half past dead because it's a crime scene. Half past dead. Yeah. Like well done. Steven Seagal. Is that is that a, is that actually you look a, half past dead? That sounds like uh, Dumbledore. It doesn't sound like Steven Seagal. Harry. Don't disturb the crime scene, Harry. We found pineapple in Harry Potter's <laughs> stomach. <laughs> Claire Whitney, this is from Instagram. She says, definitely aliens, no doubt about it. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Though, you are a wimp, and if anyone would have mental fortitude to do something that would be painful, it would be a spy, wouldn't they? I just think it's very rich that you're calling me a wimp. Yeah. <laughs> because you hear a, a footstep and you go into, ooh, I better hide under the bed. Flash to white. Two young crabs sit on a beach somewhere in the South Pacific. They are siblings. Between them, their father, with the most beautiful beard a crab has ever had, and a hat that maybe looks like a wizard's hat, or whatever is easiest to animate. This, so far, is maybe the richest character yet. My children, my gentle children, Murray and Gina. Yes, Papa. Yes, my Papa. Always love each other, no matter where your paths take you. There is enough darkness in the world, and we crabs are the keepers of the light. We have been since the beginning of time. But we love each other, Papa. How long is this thing? What's truly dubious is the fact that the caller identified the skull as Tina's. But how could the caller have known that based on the skull alone? Because the caller was the murderer. Yeah, that, that's what I'm suggesting. Oh, you were phrasing it in a dramatic way. Yeah. Yeah, season finale, and it's one you guys have been asking for for a while. This one is, um... It's gonna blow your mind. Jesus Christ, you cannot say that. Why can't I say you that? You can't <laughs> say that. Do you think she made him ride the ride and sat there and watched as he was apparently having too much fun and got really excited if and was like, like, yeah! <laughs> and then... You think he screamed like R2-D2? <laughs> You know, here's the thing, if it was a conspiracy, if it was a, a secretive group operating, they did a great job. I commend them. <laughs> no, this isn't. Hey, you fooled us. She heard a female voice saying, quote, this is Amelia Earhart, help me, end quote. And also heard the female voice arguing with a disoriented male's voice. She also claimed to hear, quote, water's knee deep, let me out, end quote. Well. A little on the nose there. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess if your radio's malfunctioning, you want to get straight to the point. You're not going to say, the story is 1937, I landed on an island. Let me spin you a yarn that you'll, you shan't soon forget. <laughs> you have one. I'm being eaten alive by crabs right now. <laughs> Panting, he rose to look at the chaos that had, he... Panting, he looked... <laughs> uh, you gotta either be a Bulgara or a Shani. There's no half measures, you gotta be one or the other. You know what we call the people that are in the middle? What do you call them? Cowards. <sighs> Just kidding. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> yeah! What? No! <laughs> yes! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is what you got, big man! <laughs> Oh shit, he's doing the Leo! <laughs> do the Leo, do the Leo, do the... <laughs> <laughs>